गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड आई मेक दिस वीडियो टू गेट योर हेल्प और सजेशन ऑन शुड आई कीप माई डोमिनर और गो विथ द रॉल एंड फील्ड इंटरसेप्टर before getting into the discussion uh, as you will all be knowing that i bought this uh, bike in the month of february this year and uh, i've not ridden too much have done something around 6000 kilometers for the past 6 7 8 eight months now uh, in fact i don't get too much of time to go for a ride i do some small trips once in a while whenever i get time i do some small uh, uh trips to my home hometown and uh, initially after buying it i had a lot of problems with the handlebars and in my previous videos when i have discussed it in detail uh, uh i got to change the handlebars to the v15 handlebars then i i had then after changing it we had i had a problem of the cables the the, the brake cables and the clutch cable brake cable was sorted out because i could pull it out from the uh, the combined unit which goes inside this slot so this is okay but the clutch cable had a problem because the the handlebar when it's the length the height rises the clutch cable has to also have the length so that that it can be fixed so the, it was pretty tight like it was like as if it's and the clutch was very tight so i had a you know there is a always a pain in the fingers when you actually using it for some time the, the pressure was too much and still the handlebar even i did i put the v15 handlebar it was sitting slightly more upright so what happens is that when i am i am i'm like driving so my instead of my body sitting like this comfortably i had to like hold it like this so again my body would not be in a comfort uh, position now uh, 10 15 days before i gave the vehicle for servicing basically no chain lubing i uh, once every 1000 kilometers i give it for chain lubing just do a water service uh, in every 1000 kilometers i do uh, one uh, after every 500 kilometers i do it once and every 1000 kilometer i do it at the uh showroom so if there's any updates or something like that i'll get that also that's the reason why now what the the service guy told me that you can probably try and use the ns clutch cable because seems it seems to fit the dominar so i just could change that i asked him to change it and now then he set it so i could slightly tilt the handlebar slightly more towards me and the, there was no tension at the Uh, clutch cable level so now it has come perfectly well now i i should say that it's only past 15 20 days that i've i've really enjoyed uh, driving it it's a superb machine i should say very good at pick up very good braking pretty controlled i'm now the when the handlebar comes closer to you it's like you're sitting comfortably well your elbows are you know folded and your your body posture also like you can sit slightly tilted even i have seen that the controls also goes big because earlier when the when you have to take a extreme right turn then you know it, it was like the body used to be very cramped up now it's very comfortable i have more comfort now in turning the vehicle even you know sliding it I, the weight initially seemed to be very ba- uh, very heavy but now it's okay i can manage it uh, because now the vehicle seems to be, seems to be in control that kind of a thing uh, this is when uh, the re has launched the interceptor and if you seen my previous video in fact i have booked that also uh, because i really like that model it's a twin cylinder the pricing is terrific uh, for a 3 lakh rupee uh, one although my the one which i have booked is a 3 lakh 28000 because i booked the glitter and dust model that's a full chrome one which i really like that uh, and i expect the vehicle to be given to me by say jan or feb maximum because I, my my booking number is the fourth here in the kochi showroom where i have booked it for that particular color uh, i have in fact taken a test drive also uh, of the interceptor uh, interceptor uh, is a good vehicle definitely yes and uh, the power is good there's no doubt uh, uh, I, i i was finding it quite 
easy. Uh, again, the handlebar issue is still there because handlebar still again you have to be slightly front tilted. But in Royal Enfield, what happens is you uh, once it's launched, I'll definitely try and fix up the RD350 handlebar, which is according to me one of the best handlebars for uh, a motorcycle like Royal Enfield or any other motorcycle. Uh, you know, it's a, if it suits, then it's the best because it's a very good curvature, very good tilt. Uh, which keeps your elbows intact and you you're very comfortable with that uh, rd 50 handlebar i think it's one of the best handlebars uh, you know uh, at, at least for uh, royal enfield it's very very comfortable while driving so i will try and put that and see uh, that now the problem is that at the moment i have got four two wheelers <laughs> and uh, uh, that is what uh, you know. My one of my friends, old friends, called me and he said uh, when I was speaking to him, and he told that don't sell your old Royal Enfield 98, 98 model uh, Machismo. Uh, that's a beautiful bike, and it's in mint condition. If you have seen my earlier videos, you will see there is a comparison done between Royal Enfield and uh, Interceptor. Uh, sorry, uh, Domina. Uh, that is a very good bike. Then I've got a Honda Activa which I keep at home for small work, so hardly it runs uh, some kilometers, maybe in a week it does maximum 6-7 kilometers, that's it. Now, uh, apart from that I have a Domino now and I have already booked an Interceptor which I'm expecting, so uh, then I thought uh, before the handlebars were like set live, I'm talking about 10 15 days since I've been really enjoying the vehicle and one thing about Domino I should say that it's a very attractive looking bike. Wherever I passed on in red uh, red light, when there stoppages or you're passing through somewhere, people are. It's 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 a showstopper. There's no doubt on it. It's light. Uh, the headlights, the LED ones are real uh, showstoppers. So I think it's a very attractive looking bike. And uh, although I'm quite surprised that it is not doing very good numbers uh, because it is very well targeted the Royal Enfield uh, in terms of touring uh, bike and. Uh, they have done everything possible uh, to position it in, as an alternative to a Royal Enfield 350 or any other <coughs> bike which is basically in the touring segment. I don't know why it is not done good, uh, although there are some nitty gritties would be there, some vibration issues and all. <coughs> but then I think over the time now they have got a vibration kit which you have fixed it in there, so vibration is quite less now. <coughs> uh, I don't know why it is not done good, I mean I am quite surprised about it. Uh, but then now, the, the, the problem here uh, is that I would definitely like to n not keep four bikes. I mean, Honda Active I will not con consider because Honda Active I even, uh, that is, I am not taking it because just for my, uh, uh, some purchase, small term purchase going to the market and not, so I use it. But three bikes, I mean, uh, it doesn't make sense f for me because... Uh, I've been, you know, I don't ride that much, so, uh, but I somehow have started liking this bike. The problem is that, not that I booked Interceptor, the problem now is that I've started li liking this bike now. So then my confidence levels have gone up for the past 15 days, once the handlebar issues were solved and now comfortable, so my confidence levels have gone up with this bike. Earlier I was scared that I can fall down, you know, it's quite heavy and so now it's absolutely not a problem. So, uh, I'm quite confused on this matter. I was going through the review from uh, Bulu Biker. Uh, it's quite famous. I am I'm his follower uh, on YouTube. So, he was talking about the Dominar. You know, if you have a Dominar, then it doesn't make a sense to sell it and buy an Interceptor. If you don't have a Dominar, probably you can, if it's a choice between Dominar and Interceptor, maybe you can try it, uh, try uh, Interceptor because of, he had his various reasons for that. Uh, my rides are not essentially city rides. Uh, it can it become most of them are high, highways. I would state highways. So uh, interceptor f fits in quite well, whereas dominant also fits in quite well. So uh, going by this uh, logic of I don't want to part this, but I want to buy an interceptor. I've been asked not to sell my Royal Enfield in 98 model because he said, my friend said that you shouldn't sell, this is going to be a unique piece for you, uh, which will be there. So again, so I'm stuck there. So uh, friends, I would like your opinion on this, that uh, what do you suggest? Should I uh, keep all these three bikes? Does it actually make sense for me or should I sell my Dominar? In fact, I have put this Dominar in OLX just to see what the responses are. 
a couple of people have shown interest in buying it, uh, but not at the price which I have quoted. I, I just quoted 160, and the uh, maximum which I was offered 130, which is only 6,000 kilometer run bike with all this Sahyadri crash guards with Luvia uh, windshield with a flasher from Simtac, uh, the silencer guard, and you know, mint condition I maintained in a hardly run vehicle. So uh, that also see, uh, shows that Dominar, the resale is slightly on the lower side. And now since they are going to launch the new model way back, um, some, somewhere in the first half of the, uh, uh, 2019, maybe the resale again might go down. Uh, I really do not know what to do. Uh, I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm slightly confused on this. Uh, I was also thinking that I should buy the Interceptor, ride that, you know, and then see. Because in case, worst case if I don't like an interceptor, I can easily sell it because they, they will have a lot of wait, waiting period. So I can probably sell it at the same price or whatever. Maybe a thousand kilometer ride would make, uh, it will, you know, thousand, two thousand kilometer if you ride, you will, it will be very clear that whether the vehicle is good or, I mean, suitable or not. It definitely would be good for people who would like it. Uh, but if it comes in terms of with my riding style and things like that. So, uh, shoot down your suggestions on this and uh, uh, do let me know your views about uh, Dominar or uh, Royal Entry Interceptor. Thank you friends. Do uh, keep me subscribed and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much.